Okay, so here is the sound module that I have made so that I can synchronize light, sound, and a fog machine all at once. Um, this relates to most of my other videos about my Halloween ship cannon, and I will be posting another video about it uh, up here pretty soon, but here's a general rundown on how you can do this for under about $30 rather than buying a $50 or $60 Arduino device and programming it. And anyone can do this. So, here's what you're going to need. You will need a 5 inch by 2.5 inch by 2 inch project enclosure from Radio Shack. You will need a Radio Shack digital recording module, 20 second recording, 9 volt battery powered, a sol a, um, not a solenoid, sorry. A relay. It's called a DPDT optical relay. Full feature coil, 120 volts AC. Um, and you're gonna want to get the little mount for that as well. It's a little eight-pin relay. So get the mount. You're gonna need it. And the mount and relay is about fifteen dollars. The recording module is like ten dollars or so. And the project box is only a couple dollars. The 9 volt inner cell alkaline battery, you're gonna need one of those. That was a few but a few dollars. And the rest I had. You're gonna need a soldering iron. And I actually have no soldering skills. None whatsoever. You could ask me to uh, throw some solder on a massive sheet of steel and I probably couldn't even do that. But I was I was able to do this, so you can do it. Um pliers, and a screwdriver. Uh, here's the first thing you're going to need to do. When you get your recording device, when you get your uh, recording module, if you can see that picture, it's going to have a speaker and a microphone. You're going to cut those off. But cut them off one by one so that you know which wires go where. But if you don't and you forget, you can look down here, and I don't think you can see it, but um, on one side it'll say SP and J3. Those are the two lines coming out. SP means speaker. So this is your speaker out. Uh, this one over here, it says MIC and J4. Uh, so that's microphone. So what you're going to have to do is, on your speaker, well, there's no speaker on it now, but when there's a speaker on this, it's a nice round thing with a green back, or at least that's what was mine, or that's what was on mine. I cut it off, but on the back of the speaker, it'll have the negative and the positive clearly marked. So, solder those to some extension wire, maybe about four inches, five inches. Doesn't need to be long at all. Um, and then just solder it together and do that for both sides. Do it one by one so that you know negative and positive, and hook them up to a female auxiliary audio in. Um, you can get these at Radio Shack or any other device or any other um, store. I pulled these out of a device that I didn't use, so it's older, but it works perfectly. Um, on your microphone, it's you're gonna do the exact same thing with an auxiliary audio female uh, adapter and the negative is going to go on the outside and the positive, the red, is going to go on the inside right here. Same with this. Negative on the outside, positive on the inside. Now once you've done that, you're going to have to do the really tricky part. And this is the part that I absolutely hate, but it's got to be done. So, what you're going to see here are two uh, red and a green wire, if you can see those. Very small. I used phone line cable. It's very small, does the job. Um, I added a little too much on there. You're going to need about five inches, maybe less. Um, what you're going to do is on one side, uh, well before you do that, you'll see a little button here. Well, there's supposed to be a button right in between here in between those red wires, these little black things. 
and it'll go on this little gold connector. And what that is is a little touch pad, a little pressure pad. When somebody presses that, it'll play the sound. You're going to rip that button off. You're going to keep this one, the one with the wires on it. That's the recording button. Don't touch that. Only the play button. You're going to rip it off. By doing that, you'll have to flip this entire circuit board over, and you'll see three metal prongs. Remove those three metal prongs, or just bend them back, and the button should just pull right off. And then you'll have the little gold, you can see it there between the wires, right there. That little thing is the touchpad. There's two. Um, it kind of looks like someone blending their fingers together or putting them together. And each side is like positive and the other side is negative in a way. You just want those to connect. So follow those on the circuit board. And one of them will lead to a small hole. I used a small piece of wire that I threaded through there and twisted at the end and then soldered the green wire onto it and then put a little piece of black electrical tape over it. That hole it goes to one side of that little push button, um, those little pads there. It's pretty much just like I said it. Um, there's not much involved with that. Just find the little hole on the side of the circuit board that leads with a little light blue line to one side of the gold uh, pressure pad. Um, the other side you'll follow over and it'll hook up to one of these little, I think they're resistors, they're really really small and it's right above D1 and R1. These circuit boards are labeled so um, it's very easy to figure it out. So there's one right above D1 and R1 and you're going to solder the red wire or another wire onto that. Now before you do any more touch those two wires together at the other end of your line and if it starts playing or the red button starts blinking you've done it correctly. If not go back and follow those lines again. Um, over here I've got my 9 volt battery hooked up. You're going to want to have that hooked up uh, to test it. Um, make sure to record something on there. Uh, now to record something, you're going to hold down this button right here and have something playing through the mic input. This is kind of like a line in, if you know what that is. Um, if you don't, look it up. Just type in line in auxiliary and it'll give you a good explanation of what it is. It's basically a um, way of putting music from... It's basically like uh, listening to music in your headphones through an iPod. But in this way, it's going into a device. So in this case, it's going into your recording device and recording anything you plug into it. This could be music. This could be some TV show. A few 20 seconds of something from there. This could be Bo... Uh, a part of the show from Bo Burnham. You know who he is. He's hilarious. Um, anyways, back to the project here. I am going on and on. You're also going to need a... Just a... I got this off a hair dryer, amazingly. I went down to the junkyard, found a hair dryer, ripped it all apart, got some little switches and things from it. But I got this cord, and it's thick. You don't really need thick cord, but whatever. This works perfectly. Uh, run it down, split it in half, and you're going to connect these cables up to numbers 2 and 7. For mine, it's 2 and 7. The relay that I'm using is the uh, cat.d3pf2aa, um, 120 volts AC. So basically what happens is the when the power is turned on, the relay is clicked on, and it goes for however long the recording was, even if the power is turned off. And let me show that to you right now, if I'm boring you. Uh, let's see.
And mind you, I'm plugging this into the speaker output now. Wow, I'm hungry. <clears throat> if I can get it plugged in. There we go. Turn on the speaker here. And, um, yeah. This should be all hooked up now. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. But here's how it should work. I'm going to turn the power on and then off. On, off. And prove to you that the power is completely off. So yeah, no cords connected at all, and it pretty much runs itself, so you can have an auxiliary um, audio set up with powered speakers so that when your uh, fog timer, that I've shown in the other videos, your hacked fog timer, uh, when it turns on real quick, it's going to send power out through here, and that can be ran in through here, triggers the relay, and the relay plays the sound, or triggers the uh, recording module or soundboard and it plays for however long you record the sound as up to 20 seconds but yeah that's that if you have any questions leave a comment and I will do my best to answer it for you